Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your Git repo with Git LFS. So let's get right into it. So before we begin, you're going to need to have two things installed on your computer. You need to have Git Bash and Git LFS installed. There'll be links in the description below, it will only take a moment to install, and once you have those installed, continue watching this tutorial. So you can have any version control Git software you want, but I've got GitHub Desktop, I like to use it, and we've got a mp4 file in our Git repo. And for context, I'm using a Unity project, but this applies to basically anything you're going to use with Git. And I've got a really good commit name called test, and I'm going to click on commit to main. And then I get a message saying files to large. The following files are over 100 megabytes. If you commit these files, you will no longer be able to push this repository to github.com, which is bad because we want to store our work on GitHub. It also then suggests we use GitLFS. So let's use GitLFS. So we're going to click on cancel and we're going to go to where our repo is located in the file explorer. If you're in GitHub desktop, you can right click up here and then go to show in explorer. And this is our project. So we're going to right click in here. And if you're on Windows 11, you're going to click on show more options. If you're on Windows 10, it will already appear. But we're going to click on open git bash here. And we're going to have a nice little terminal open up. A bit like the command prompt, but it looks a bit cooler. So all commands we do will be in the description below. So you can copy and paste them as we go along. Also, a word of warning, Control v does not work in Git Bash, so you need to right click and paste if you want to paste anything. So the first command we want to do is we want to do git lfs install. Even if you have it all set up and installed with your Git Bash, still do the command anyway to double check your installation is correct. And it will say updated git hooks and git lfs initialized. If we do it again, it will have the same message and it tells us that git lfs is set up so we can use it. Now, here comes the really fun part. We need to decide what do we want git lfs to track. So what file types do we expect to be above the 100 megabytes limit that github has? And basically what you do is you do git space lfs space track space. Then you, what you do is inside speech marks and we're going to do the star symbol, so uppercase eight, then dot unity. So you might be thinking, okay, Max, what does this mean? Basically, any file in our repo that ends with dot unity will be considered for LFS tracking. And basically, we can upload bigger files of that file type. Once you have the command, you hit enter. And it says tracking dot unity. Now, some file types I recommend for Unity project would be PSDs, which are Photoshop files, and FBXs, which are basically model files. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, we will also track MP4s. So once you type in the command, you then hit enter. And then it will say tracking then dot MP4. So once you've done a bunch of Git LFS tracks and you're happy, we need to do a little bit more. So if you're in Git Bash and you're not going to be using GitHub Desktop or, or Source Tree or Git Kraken or whatever, you need to do git add.git attributes to track the change of Git attributes. Because if we go back to our GitHub Desktop, as you'll see, it's changed. It's got more text reflecting what types of files you want to track with Git LFS. You'll also need to do git commit m and then a commit message if you're using Git Bash and not other software, but you can use whatever version control software to track the change to the Git attributes. Now comes the moment of truth. We're going to click on test. And as you can see, it didn't give me that warning message. So if we look at our history, as you can see, we had a, I decided to add a video to the root of the Git project, but also the same video in a subfolder. Both of these videos are over 100 megabytes and before we got their message, but now we don't. So I'm going to hit push. This is going to take a while. These are both 100 meg 102 megabyte video files. I would also like to reiterate, if you're using other version control software, you did not need to do the git add.git attributes or the git commit m commands. 
The only things you needed to do was install git lfs and do your git lfs track commands. So, our files were successfully uploaded. However, there is one more thing you may need to do. So, let's say you've got an exist you're doing this to an existing project, you've got a bunch of stuff uploaded that are of the file type that you want to track with git lfs. And maybe you anticipate those files getting bigger and going beyond the 100 megabytes limit. Like maybe you've got a Photoshop file and you plan on adding a bunch of detail, or maybe you've got a video file that you're going to make even bigger. You're going to need to do one more command in git bash. We're going to need to migrate any existing files so they also get tracked with git lfs. So we need to do git lfs migrate import to takeaway signs include equals then we're going to do speech marks and inside the speech marks we're going to include all of those file types or whatever we did for the track commands inside. So we do wildcard or the star symbol or uppercase eight then dot unity then we do a comma then we do the same star symbol then dot mp4 and then we do the closed speech marks. So we separate each type of file or file that we want to drag with git lfs with a comma. Then we do a space and then we do two minus symbols so then we do everything. A word of warning, what we are going to do will impact all branches on the repo and if anyone tries to work with this repo they're going to have issues with these files if they don't have git lfs set up. So just remember that it's going to impact all branches. Once you've typed that command you hit enter. This could take a while depending on how big your project is, but my project's tiny so it took seconds. Now, you can either use a command or you can do this push using your version control software. So as you can see if my GitHub desktop, it wants to pull some stuff down and push some stuff up. And if we click on the drop down arrow here, we have fetch from origin or force push origin. So we need to do a force push now because we've applied LFS to files that already existed in our repo. So we can either do git push origin main minus minus force and you need to replace main with your branch name or you can do this in your version control software of choice. I'm going to do it in here and see what happens. And as you can see the force update was done and we have successfully got git lfs set up with our unity project and I've shown you what else you need to do if you're going to be using git lfs in your current repo that's got some work already on it. So thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.